Freedom 35, 5, 5, 5. Dude, start the podcast. Wow. Welcome back, everybody. My name is TJ. I'll go by Lazy T. And I am the other Tom. I go by Lavish Bear. And where's Tommy? Yeah, that actually, I wasn't ready for it to be that fast because I'm like, <laughs> oh, wait, there's, I, I do it every time we only have two people where I forget that it's going to be me right up next. There's no TJ in between as a buffer. Yeah, there's no, there's no like continuous flow like you usually have and no little bit of a time or a space between there. Uh, but where, to. where's Tommy yeah. again? Yes, uh, I think he's, he's out riding go karts. He said he was sick. But... He's already using sick time. It's only the third week in January. I don't even know if that's going to get approved or not. He used too much last year and he's just, he's missing the night again. He got a little bit of a sore throat. Tell him to suck it up and so join the scratchy, show. Little scratchy. A little, little scratchy. Yeah. I guess. Drink some coffee, have a granola bar. You'll be fine, Tommy. Take a spoonful of honey. You're good to go. <laughs> All right. So Monday's live stream, we'll just go right into it. We're just going to jump into topics tonight, Tom. Yeah, the show must go on, right? We can't, we can't wait around for Tommy. No. Absolutely not. I got to get the share screen going. Got to get that going because we're on StreamYard now. Can you New see buttons. me still? Yeah, I can see you. We're good. Can oh, you not see is... yourself? No, this is going to trip me up. Anyways, live stream Monday. I missed the first 30 minutes. I was, uh, oh, you can't hear the sound, can you? Okay, good. So Monday's live stream was good. You guys had a nice turnout in the beginning. We kind of held strong for, for a while. The chat was popping. I always enjoy that. Even seeing uh, Nemo in the chat, which was cool. Moni and oh, he had a surprise, uh, not only a surprise visit, but then he had the surprise mid midstream giveaway. Uh, that was, uh, a, I, don't even, was I think you're the one that caught that, right? I wanted to participate and I did. I hopped on my phone and <laughs> I put a number in the chat. I think I, I was just sitting there listening to uh, to Tommy and then uh, I could see like, you know, chat was going just posting numbers and um. And you're like, no, wait, there's a giveaway going on right now. Shut the fuck up, Tommy, please. We're trying to win. Uh, we're trying to win here. I want to see if Tommy times it, but no, he didn't. Damn it. I wanted to see that. Oh, he did. There was a winner. That was cool. I just That was awesome that he came in there just in our chat and gave a thousand skull away, which was awesome. So it pays to, to be in our chat, to be active. And it's always fun to see projects and project founders show up for us and just kind of hanging out. And he hung out for a long time, too. We also need it. Please show up. We don't know what we're talking about, so we need you to come in and correct <laughs> us as we uh, go over your project. Uh, no, we, definitely, it's always fun to be able to bounce things off, especially because there's just some things that we don't, you know, have a full understanding on, uh, and then they give those kind of like little sneaky bits of information, and it's like, ah, okay, now it makes sense. We got a little, uh, little early info there. Oh yeah, the clarification always comes in helpful, especially too. If there's people in in chat that want to know some answers as well. It's always nice to have a direct access to them instantaneously. Versus, you know, sometimes you type in the Discord, they might see it a few hours later, and then you might even respond a few hours later from that. So it's just a lot of time in between getting your answer. Where sometimes people just show up to our chat, you ask the question from the founder, and you get it right away. So it's always nice for a nice turnout for them when they when they show up. Well, some of our chat's crazy too. I mean, there I don't remember what the actual project was now because Tommy was explaining something. It wasn't last week, but a couple of weeks ago. And I was correcting him thinking, I'm like, nope, Tommy, that's that's not how that worked. And someone in chat was just like, no, you guys are both wrong, actually, and way off. I'll explain it actually how it is. And I was like, oh, okay, good. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. You want to come on the show? You want to do this for me? That'd, that'd be great. I know that I we I do remember that they answer like every single one of our questions that we had the entire time. Like, you know, just just come in the chat. We'll send you a link. Get up here, answer our questions live, so we don't have to wait for the delay. How's your microphone? Sound good? Quiet background? Yeah. How's that? Speaking of microphones, how's mine tonight? Because I know that was giving us some trouble for a few weeks. Is it better? It's fine tonight? now. It's working. Yeah. Not it doesn't trail off. It used to sound like you were falling down a cliff as you were talking to us about NFTs. <laughs> I don't understand why I was doing. You would think it would work fine. When I had the, the actual, app. yeah, well, yeah, the same app. What it was doing, I think I was telling you guys, like the gain kept self adjusting or correcting as I'm talking. So it would go down to like almost zero. That's what it sounded like. Out. Yeah, but that's stupid that it did that. It's very, uh, uh, I don't understand. understand. Would always, I feel like it wouldn't be consistent too. We'd be in the mid, like at the end of the live stream and it'd be all of a sudden like, TJ, are you talking? I can see your lips moving. Did you mute yourself? I can see the words, but I can't hear you saying. <laughs> pretty much pretty much all right so what we got next on the list we got omens hitting that 500 floor 
basically almost there. I think they hit it once today, but they're like a four ninety eight. You know they were like they had two of them when before the show started here on Wednesday night recording. They had two ones, yeah, four ninety eight or four ninety nine yep. and four ninety five, and it, that's five hundred. That's um, lava. It's thin. It's thin. Uh, amazing. Uh, definitely. Uh, how how thin is five hundred? Yeah, it goes right up to five ten, five fifteen. Um, I was actually looking at this one this morning because I always were, was a fan of the heart skull heads. I really like those a lot. You guys, you and Tommy have both said that since the beginning. But um, where this is where we're missing Tommy right now, just because he has fifty of these, so he's he's missing his chance to celebrate. We're stealing his thunder. He's not going to get to go over this uh, unless the floor is even higher during the live stream on Monday. Um, but but I mean, he's he's doing well. Even the first when this first came out, and he's like, oh, "I'm hoping this is a big play." It's like, damn, he's spent a good little chunk on this. You know, you're really you're going in on it. Um, and look how well that's played off though. I, Honestly though, he's only sold a few in, in the grand scheme of things and myself personally, like normally if I see the floor rise this high like this, I would have sold by now, but this project, for some reason, I'm just, I, it's a special project in my opinion. I think obviously we love the artwork. We love the team. I'm, I'm holding on for a while. I saw my, all my four, I listed my, my crown I did, but um, I, I felt like I could have got, I got what I wanted, honestly, from that one. The other four, I'm not unstaking because I've gotten good rewards with that. And what's interesting is the staking for this is 83% of the people or 83% of the assets, I'm sorry, are staked right now. I just thought that fact in general was amazing. It's a testament to how strong these holders are. How and many are I, listed? I, that, I was going to say that next. The amount listed is only 6.5%. Wow. So there's a, there's only a, a 10K. That aren't staking or listing right now. I think that is very impressive. So especially with that floor and how it's risen, uh, that's that's pretty crazy. Because I mean, we're only a couple three weeks off mint, so you know people could have turned a big profit. Like like you said, even Tommy right now could cash in on quite a bit. Uh, but he's I think in the same like you said idea of I'm just going to hold and see what happens now. He's getting his rewards for staking. He's going to let him ride on staking and see what's coming up here uh, as we get into April in the spring. Um, you know, even with this floor where it's at, which is, which is wild. It's, it's, it's awesome. I love that. Cause I know that there's something special going on in the next few months. They get kind of a tease. Something's going to happen. Um, so I thought people are kind of waiting for that as well, but even just waiting for and staking, I actually, I'm very curious. I haven't checked my staking in a while. I mean, how much do I have right now? Can you see my tab? So, or is it the same? Oh, no, just the uh, CNFT uh, or JPEG store. I'm sorry. So I can share this one now. So CNFT. You could, wow. Wow. So you could, you could see, omens page now right we used for the background last week i think yeah yeah it was the last right. week before something like that it's a great so, picture so i got 58 right now rewards just chilling so i, I gained three, just three so i, I yeah. sorry i had four out of three now so yeah so i got about 25 to 26 last week and then it went up almost double so that's just two weeks just letting it sit there and do nothing it's only from three of them and i know a lot of people have five ten plus of these um, so the utility and the, and for this project is, is right up there. It's more that you're really getting returns. I mean, absolutely you know, projects have done staking, you get ADA back, but I mean, so many other times you're like, I got two ADA. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so in this case, and it's over like, you know, you're actually waiting like six weeks in this case. So now in those cases, in this case, you're getting it much faster return. Um, even like for back stake into like a stake pool like in the beginning we thought we would get such a nice big return but really you don't unless you have a lot of aided a stake in a stake pool you're not really getting that much of a return sorry stake pool owners I'm just, I'm just saying um we're going right into the block mystery chest what season oh that's season right um, i'm actually uh, really excited for this yeah and i'm uh missed the last one um as you know as much as i wanted to get into all these now uh, or the second one i missed one of them um I think I've missed maybe two now. Two? Um, I haven't missed any of them. I think I missed, or I think I missed the second one. I think I was there for the third one. Um, so yeah, no, I'm definitely excited. You've had some bad luck with these so far, though. So I can imagine uh, you're excited for some redemption. I have had some bad luck. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I wouldn't even say bad luck. I, the first one wasn't too bad. I got some indie token, and I got um, a I don't remember what a Ada, which is yeah. now something else i forget they changed their token name but it, anyways like i actually made a little decent profit from that um and actually the remember that egg that king or queen egg card i got those nfts are running up the past two weeks now last week the week before i tried to list mine for like 400 because they were at a 154 at one point so i so far you know i did okay but i think the third one i didn't do well at all actually i got not good nfts i was like ah whatever 
Uh, that video saw, is great though. Um, oh, it's cool. Black Owls for sure. I was gonna say, well, that, but then they have like the like the her monsters and everything theme to it. Um, it's yeah, they killed it again, one hundred percent. Of the the her monsters layer to it is awesome. Oh, I love it. It's great. Yeah, it's fantastic. And this one they have. Yeah, I was hearing you were talking about a little bit reading through, and I was looking up something else. Um, yeah, physical prizes. There it is. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Well, it's they're great. they're calling it digital items. Digital. I love that actually. So you get a jelly cube plushie or a jetty yeti, which is basically yeti with the, with the jelly cube uh, logos on logo. it and poker car poker cards. I think these are going to be sick. The poker cards, the deck of cards. That's cool. All the jelly cubes and everything on the there. Plushie. So I, I want the I want both of these. Do the, do the plushies all look the same or do they have different jelly cubes? That is a good question. Yeah, I'm curious. Now. I want the plushie, though. I do want the, plushie the collection. Too. I want both of those. So I'm very excited for this. I don't think there's a date on this yet, though. Does uh, it say a date? No, it doesn't say a date yet. Just that teaser, just the video that came out. Um, I I always love seeing their uh, wallet of of goodies. I'll call it or in their mystery chest to see what you could potentially get. I actually have not checked their old mystery chest wallet just to see what's left in those. I'm not even sure if you could still. Uh, get those or redeem those at all they just right roll now. Roll them over into the next one. I don't. I don't know if they're rolling them over. I don't or think not. so either. But I mean, you know, um, that's always something exciting. They're coming out what third week here of New Year, perfect time. And I think, I mean, obviously, we still don't have a date, but uh, definitely something to look forward to here early in the year. They always, they've been. That was such a good idea, and they came out with it. And it's something that it's not necessarily, you know, the the wildest idea of just making a goodie bag that you can pay like a small amount to get into. Um, but just block has the, the the team and the means and the connections to get all that put together and have it run really smoothly um, or, or, you know, as smooth as, as we would hope to. Um, well, it's just to like establish establish partnerships too, like getting this done. I, I don't think a new project or or NFT collection could even attempt to do this because no. mm -mm. they have no kind of ground to stand on with because they have no, you know, no one knows them. So I just having that initial amount of money to to fill the wallet to to make exactly. it uh, with you know to make the pinata full. Um, I like that actually. That's a good little idea, a little pinata. But I will say some some projects or a lot of the projects have donated. They have donated their NFTs, yeah. donated either NFTs or white lists or even some of the tokens that they have because we've had a lot of meme tokens coming out the last few weeks. Honestly, a ton more. I'm curious who's made like actually decent money on some some meme coin ones. Like they just got free like a good chunk though, and they're like, I don't have to do with this. I like I just gonna hold it, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh damn, that's you know worth a nice little like 500 bucks right now or something. I, I was telling you guys, I haven't talked this on stream, but I had like that uh, on Matic. I got airdropped some gone token back in December, and it, it was worth over like a hundred bucks the other day, and I just. Switch it into mad. I go, like, that's 300 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> I can't be Beautiful. mad about that. I love stuff like that. But I, I do see this potential for more and more of these meme tokens happening. I think I'm going to jump a topic here, go right into that real quick. A lot of these passes we're seeing on JPG right now in the in the top 10 or top 12, I guess you want to call it. And it's just taken, I don't taken away, but it's taking the place of actual projects. And you see a lot more passes right now on JPG. Uh, I mean, we're seeing that by. we saw, you know, especially the big ones that we came out were, you know, um, uh, tool heads and tappy. And I know we talked about it back when those came out where you kind of see a little bit more immediate, I guess, utility, like, oh, I'm getting access to something yeah. right now that I would not have access to without holding this. Um, whereas a lot of projects, you know, they may have all, you know, the idea is the for actual projects because you know go from actual buying real real estate to it's just a cool place to hang out online uh so you know they're, they're so they're so varied whereas uh the passes you get like access to especially these ones that are just analytics tools um to potentially get your return on investment and make a, a ton more money um or have the ability to do so with those tools if you know what the fuck you're looking at um some of us would get you know get a tool heads or a tappy tools and wouldn't help us at all. We're still just like, yeah, I'm still losing money. doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I got all the charts and graphs. Don't know what the hell I'm looking at. Um, but yeah, was, I mean, I saw, I saw that just six of them or eight of them, I guess really is our passes out of the you know last 24 hours for the volume. It was well, kind of crazy. Well, like four or five of those are just passes to get airdrops for a new meme token. 
I mean, I myself personally, I've only been successful on one out of the four I've been a part of so far. So <laughs> I I got roped into the game because I had a little A to spend. But I would say I'm probably breaking even after losing some. I've actually made a nice return on Viper, which actually I like the Viper token and I like the Viper community. I think they're the one of the ones that might actually stick around a lot longer than all the other ones that I've seen the past couple of weeks. Cause I, they have a nice strong community. They do announce, they do a lot of announcements and updates they're doing. They're moving very similarly to uh snack. Honestly, obviously snack is snake, right? Snack has the name. It has the, the story behind it. Um, but Viper is doing a great job so far, as far as what they've been able to accomplish and what they've been able to do so far as like keeping up with the updates and just keeping the community engaged and, and, and strong. So uh, that is one to keep an eye on. Nafafa. Watch them rug pull tomorrow before <laughs> our episode comes <laughs> out. And we're just like, yeah, I think they're gonna be around. You know, I like yeah. what they're doing over there. And then, then uh, it comes out, it's like Viper just rug pulled on everyone. Stole uh, it's like, it. uh TJ's talking about it. All right, time to pull the plug. Yeah, guys, you saw sell. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Did you actually did you see the video? I just saw recently a video. I don't remember what token it was. It was a meme token. I saw it on an Instagram reel where these people put fifty thousand dollars into a coin. There was three of them. And they're watching it go up within 10 seconds. It just literally dumped and crashed. And you should just see all three of their faces. They're just up so disappointed and upset right now. I couldn't even imagine losing fifty thousand dollars in a second. There, I don't it must it must have happened to something else things. I do remember the one. This was just a solo guy, and I forget the reasoning behind the crash. It was some sort of scam. Um, but yeah, it was a, a similar type meme token and you watched him like live on stream watch it, it was he was literally go to zero um this was just a single guy doing it but i, I remember something similar to that at least yeah three uh, guys yeah, are doing it rough. just watched it climb like please please they're all like pretty much begging and praying and then all of a sudden it just goes completely tanking and they lose all of their money like in seconds I hate to see it well oh. speaking of losing money that was the other thing we were uh looking at on there there was two of them i forget um both their names i wasn't really interested in much in their names uh because it's just not projects we normally look at uh, i probably wouldn't really because it's not really something i'm interested in doing other than the potential to to make money on the asset itself or the tokens and the um the capacity itself uh, but they're for like online gambling casinos um which i know is something we've discussed back when we were talking about like um yeah robo they are also doing ai yeah. this one robo friends but like i know we've talked about that with equine and with some of the other ones that are coming out with like battles like card games and things like that like would we be able to maybe gamble with it and uh, we know that it's like kind of a challenge because gambling's already just just tough to do um you know this is especially here in the united states it's like a statewide they get to choose what their rules are on it um and we're seeing these like online casinos where you play for for real ada uh kind of sneaking their way in now like you know i know it's not a new idea i'm sure people have been trying to do online gambling you know through, i know it's on other blockchains definitely and i'm sure it's been worked on our cardano but uh, to see them in the kind of the top volume for 24 hours was surprising we're like all right i guess people people getting behind the i don't know if it's just people hyping it and making money off the actual mint and the passes um or if people are really excited to uh to like play ada slots like really bad <laughs> i think it's a little of both i think if anything we're seeing like especially with these passes and these meme tokens coming out we're seeing that you know it's going back to the roots of why people have came came here or even joined crypto in general is because they want a, a way to gamble their money essentially and what a perfect way to do that with uh slot machines on with ada you know people are gambling their money with just uh these meme tokens why not actually put it in a slot machine and see if you can get a nice return with that because you have a greater risk of losing your money in my opinion with meme tokens because it's going to crash probably within 30 minutes versus this you know you could lose your money in an hour <laughs> you can oh, bro and, bro lost this it's one of those things too where crypto kind of works really well on like unfortunately we're still kind of in my opinion at that stage where a lot of people i think see like a lot of crypto coins just because of how like volatile you know and how much they change um their value so quickly that they can't be really relied on for like a lot of normal transactions in a lot of cases so they're usually just used for like gambling online where you wouldn't yep. normally be able to gamble or like buying drugs and buying hitman and stuff True. like that uh you're not, so they use like use like bitcoin and i know like roll bit is one of the uh 
the big Ethereum ones where it's all gambling and you get Ethereum back because that's a way for them to get around, I guess, a lot of the gambling laws because it's not, you know, actually in like a native currency or whatever. Um, so it'll be interesting. Yeah, I guess to see we're going to lose all the uh, the liquidity in our community here to, to some gambling website. No one's going to have any ADA left. Yeah, it's just going to recycle through back with everybody again. Someone's going to lose, someone's going to win it, and then the person no, the that house wins, always gonna... wins. Yeah, that's true. I actually wonder what that, what kind of fee they charge for that. Because obviously they have to make some sort of money by, you know. I'm sure. Well, like, I mean, like gambling is just already weighted against you anyway. If it works out like any normal gambling casino, I'm sure they'll be fine and successful. Those seem to do fine. <laughs> if one thing I've like learned and noticed uh, in this space with these meme coins and now with this gambling is that it just shows the true nature of the dgens in this space like yes we we scream utility from the mountaintop so what utility do most people want they want a return on an investment with the nfts that they are purchasing honestly plain and simple yes there are other great quote-unquote utilities that projects do offer but for the most part the sentiment from people is they want a return on an investment from the NFT they just purchased. A lot of them do. And I know people might, obviously, you could argue back and forth with that. Like, yes, there are a lot of great communities that I'm a part of, but I don't expect a return on investment from it because I just truly enjoy the community. But initially, why we all got in this space was to see a return on an investment from the NFT we purchased. So it kind of goes back to your, your roots of the DGen nature in that aspect. So this is just going to bring everybody out. I mean, some people, yeah, that's what their utility is. Is like, did it? It's like, what? What does it do? It makes money for me. Uh, yep. That's what it does. That's all I care for it to do. The, the rest of it is I, I, sure it's nonsense to me. But until they actually do any of it, it's literally just words written on a screen. There's no or in Discord. There's no actual real concrete project with a lot of these yet that they brought to the table before Mint, um, or even some of them had a real plan. You know, to see where they're at, like. Uh, you know, not to take away from them what they've done, but like seeing like where Dirt Birds is at now. None of that was in the original plans or when we originally minted. It was just like, what does it do? I want it to make money for me. Like, I just wanted yep. the, the hype to get me money, whatever it is that gets it to to have a higher floor than I either minted or, or bought it on secondary for. That's that's utility. That's I don't care. And the great thing about that too is like even with derps in general, like you can if you time it right, you can make money from that and still be back in the community. You can sell at the high and then buy back in at the low and yeah. still be a part of that community. That, that's how like NFTs... Society, look where exactly. the floors, you know, in the 3,000s now, if you were to sold 13,000. Like 15? Yeah, yeah. 15,000. You, you, you could have got five back. Exactly. 100%. <laughs> exactly. It's just when, like the timing, like when are you comfortable to sell and when are you comfortable to invest? That's always the case. Always do your own research. Always just be comfortable with whatever decision you make because, you know, it could be a big one. <laughs> That's for sure. Could, you could sell way too early, which we have done quite often. I do uh, that all the time. Um, or, you know, hold way too long. And then you're sitting <clears throat> on 70 BBs and 45 rocket squirrels, um, right. space honors. Um, see, I've heard it both ways. <laughs> but um yeah, no, you can definitely hold things way too long, which you've done too. That's why I'm trying, you know, I, I don't want to make the call, obviously, because then they'll go to the moon. They're going to have a an ape society type thing here with Omen. Um, but you guys keep saying you want to make sure that you get your profits when you can. And I don't, I mean, well, I know you're getting some ADA back with staking. Like I know Tommy's like, oh, I got like a decent return. It's like, dude, you got 50 of them though. And the floor, the mint was 150. Yeah. And you're sitting on their 500 floor right now. He, well, he would unload all 50 probably that'd be a lot of sales just to his wallet but well pneumonia posted something pneumonia. funny the other day he was saying like oh you could you know you can either make profit by selling or you could take your money out when from the harvest and you can make profit that way and someone's like well once you do that can't you not like don't you lose rewards and he's like exactly and he's like what? why would i want to do that then so that's the whole point it's like do you how long can you hold out for until you withdraw the money from the staking aspect of that i think it's a genius idea because you literally play mind games with people, either staking or pulling out the the harvesting that they just did, and they lose all the rewards, and then just trying to flip it. So it it literally is a mind game with the holders, and I'm actually all for it. I think it's a great idea. Like more... Tommy could sell sixteen, and he'd be at you know five hundred profit, so just one extra fifteen would be break even for him, and he'd still be sitting on like you know thirty three. Yeah, at the minimum, is fifty uh 
he might have done that by now i honestly don't know because he's not here right now because he's got the sniffles no, on the couch he's a little sick he's got watching one tree sick. hill with his wife i swear to god <laughs> probably is uh... that guy never know what he's doing back there <laughs> I don't know. Tommy's never, I don't think he's super into gambling. I know TJ. What do you mean? Dislike it. I mean, like at the casino. kind oh, of. Oh, I got you. Okay. No, I know he's gone a couple of times. Not like some of our other friends, at least. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, the, like we definitely don't get into problem gambling gambler. as much. Um, you know, I don't mind playing some blackjack or something. I used to like playing poker with you guys, uh, but are you going to get on the, uh, you think you'll start spinning digital slots with your Cardano? <laughs> I'll have to see I how I just don't actually, trust those. I hate that. I, I, I don't like it at all. Like the Ethereum, I've and I know people that make a lot of money um on like the Ethereum ones. Like they get crazy money. And I'm like, I would never get that. I would lose it all. There's no way. I just don't have that kind of luck on a slot machine on it, the computer. Being so new and fresh, especially for this space, and it's nothing against any of these projects that are coming out with this. I just know it's probably gonna be a little janky at first, and I just don't trust that initially. I, don't I need so. to be I need to be a little more polished for me to start betting. I would lose it. all my money and be like, How do I know this is this is just rigged? This is stupid. They they just like it's you know what I mean? It's not like I know at least the casinos I already don't trust enough, but at least I know there's like state gaming regulations they go in they make sure the machines run properly you know there's things like that there's actually like laws that kind of have to follow this is just yeah. like an online website where you load your ada wallet into and then like click your mouse a few times and you're like oh fuck i lost a hundred a thousand ada awesome all right they're good totally fair game you know what i mean like you don't know like there'd be no way to know if it's just like set to like never let this asshole win fucking yeah. die I'm also a very cautious gambler, I would think anyway, especially yeah. at least with like casinos and stuff, because I, I myself went on a cruise, um, I don't know, maybe eight years ago now. And when I was on there, I went down. And as soon as I went up like 20, 25 bucks, like, all right, that's it. I'm done. I got an extra 20, 25 bucks in my pocket. I'm done. That's just my style again. Even with NFTs, I will, I'll sell like once it's a two X then I'll sell it. I don't care how high I can go after that. Cause I'm not going to beat myself up over that, but that's like my, been my rule of thumb. If it's a two X, I'm fine with it. Of course, can't I'm upset with that for sure. But no, I mean certain things. But I'm the same. I mean, unless you win big early on in the night when you're gambling, most of the time it's like, all right, I have this much budgeted. You know, let's go like 200 bucks or something like that. And if you go way too hard early on and you lose it in 15 minutes, it's just like, all right, well, what are we gonna do for the next three hours? This is stupid. I'm not spending more money. That was dumb. I that wasn't fun. So I, can we go do something else? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, j just the other day, for example, like I went in on this uh, Jeff token. Nothing against a Jeff token, but I put 250 in it and it got up to 600 and I was like, all right, I'm going to sell it in a few minutes. I literally forgot about it. I was just, you know, playing with my son and stuff because I was on my wall. Then I check an hour later, it's freaking tanking. Then of course I get the gambler mindset. Well, now I want it to go back up because I'm only up like 35, 48 or right now. Let me get it up at least a little bit higher. And it just kept crashing and crash. I just pulled it. I, I took a loss on that, but I don't want to take it any bigger L than I already was getting on that. At least you got something. Yeah. Sometimes I, it's tough to do. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, cut, cut, cut your losses at you know, some point is when, when you can, because I just was accepting defeat at that point. I was like, whatever, it's not going back up. I'm not going to beat myself up for it because I did pretty well with Viper and I still have some Viper in there doing its thing. So I will just take my L and move on with my life. <laughs> keep on, um, keep on. But there is a big space that was supposed to happen, but it got postponed because I oh, think yeah, Twitter is right. having an issue with uh, Twitter spaces for no, whatever Twitter reason. just is an issue or X. I mean, they can't even get their name right. I don't know what the hell's going on over I, there. I, Nothing I works. Can't even kinda, find your quote retweets. I kind of refuse to call it X, honestly. I know. I, I hate it. <laughs> I will say post is kind of caught on, but that's more just because I use that word already. I think I'm pretty sure I was saying that before they became X posts or whatever. Um, I would say so, tweets and like, hey, I posted something earlier as opposed to like I tweeted it. Uh, I'll say both still. Uh, but yeah, I always call Twitter. I honestly never even noticed that it's called post now or X post until I just saw it on the screen and you saying it. I just considered yeah. it still tweeting. Didn't even realize that. It was post, yeah. Uh, but there was supposed to be a Clay Nation CNF to CNFT tools Twitter space, um, but it's postponed until Sunday. Uh, which is so in two days from if this two days from, is live or out on friday beyond yeah this coming sunday two days from now i don't know what time is it at though 8 p.m utc what oh, is that on the list come on tj does it say yeah 8 p.m there you go sunday and utc there you go Tom, tom's got it uh so mm. this still leaves plenty of time to convey all info before the expected launch of clay vault staking on january 27th so it's plenty of time to kind of get your affairs in order essentially 
um, before the Volt staking on January 27th, which I'm very curious how that's going to do. I'm excited for that. Great two powerhouse teams working together. So that should go over well, honestly. I think they're going to have a ton of giveaways and stuff. So that'll be a fun space. I mean, the clays always show up really well. Um, so it'll be, it'll be fun, especially Sunday is a lot easier to get to. I, I totally yeah. forgot about it yesterday. I definitely did yeah. too. Sunday is easier for most people, honestly, because everyone's usually off and it's just an perfect easier chill in podcast day, listening to stream, listening to spaces kind of day. If the spaces could work, if that's a big challenge. Did. Yes. They could just pivot it to a, like a, live stream audio on youtube or something that could help too then you get the chat involved that's one thing I, we I always keep saying is x has a live chat to kind of get involved everybody in the spaces that'd be amazing yeah. yeah that's that's my biggest thing too there's just too many people and then also then you have that weird period where it's like hey who wants to actually come up and talk and sometimes there are a few people that don't leave you hanging they're willing to you know yep. step up in front of everyone which isn't always the easiest especially some of those bigger spaces and they'll talk then you have that weird period is like all right like they're done but do we leave him here as a speaker? Yeah. Like, do I have to like, I feel rude sending them back down and saying like, get the fuck out of here. We're done listening to you. But at the same time, I'm done listening to you. So I got to like move you down. Um, so that get a little awkward too. Who's got it right is like clays after dark. So they have so many people on that. They have to move people. It's like, Oh, we have new people coming up. So bye guys. Get the fuck out. Uh, we got new people coming up. Um, they just keep them rotating out. So that always works well. I, I myself, like after doing those few spaces and hosting them, I'm just not a fan of, fan of them talking i love listening to them like i commend anyone who who can do them and host them and be there for hours talking i just it's i find it difficult for myself to talk on twitter spaces because i'm a very visual person so when i can't see who i'm talking to especially if i don't know you in real life it's very hard to kind of make that even that vocal connection with you to kind of have a phone conversation versus if i could see you i can kind of gauge where you are with my jokes with the conversation just a whole array of things where i kind of assess when i'm talking to somebody versus i don't know you and now i'm trying to talk to you with your voice and i just it's hard for me to adapt with that so i'm glad we don't really do those anymore it can be a challenge i was actually thinking about that because now that we can live stream to twitter um I would almost prefer because I still like the game nights. Uh, if we did like a double live, I would even almost be willing to do like a, some sort of double live stream type thing. If we could figure out enough topics to go over, um, where we do the live stream on Monday and then like we tr normally do, but then we just do one on Twitter. Um, but I don't know. That was the other thing too. It's tough since we started so late with it. You know, I enjoy our live stream, uh, time so much on Mondays that our Twitter spaces, uh, you know, thank you to everyone that would show up um, because it definitely wasn't something that was in our normal schedule. We didn't always do them and they're only once a month. Uh, so sometimes it was kind of just us and like three or four other people, which could be yeah. fun. But again, like then it'd be great if they could use a chat feature to interact back exactly. and they're just kind of listening to us, uh, just kind of hang out. Um, so, so that's, that's the other problem that was a little rough with them. We'll figure I, something out. We got some things coming up. Hopefully. Well, you just gave me the idea, like instead of just doing it on YouTube, we tried it with just kick last time. Maybe we could do it with Twitter and kick for a game night. This way yeah. we're not really messing with the algorithm on YouTube. On, Twi on YouTube. Exactly. Yeah. But keep we YouTube, can like, utilize chill. Twitter live and use kick too. So that's something to kind of think about. Maybe we'll do that for next week. Cause actually next week is the first game, uh, game night. night. We got to do one. I've been enjoying those quite a bit. I will say though, community, we want to play with you, not just play with like us three. We want to play with you guys as well. That's the whole point of these game nights. We want to play with you guys. Beauty I mean, me. I'll just get on and play Tarkov <laughs> if you want. But um, yeah, no, definitely. That's the whole point is hoping to hang out with you guys and not necessarily. That's the other thing too. We get everyone on and we just talk about NFTs the whole time, which is going to happen. But uh, it'd be it'd be fun to to just get to hang out and just not yeah. have to you know do that you know get to get to hang out with some people outside of that context um i mean those first couple ones when you're playing fall guys they went pretty well um i just they think did. people we had into the same that. problem that it's pretty much the reason we do game night because we don't get enough time to game anymore because we're doing all this bullshit instead uh, and i think people <laughs> run into that same problem where they're like hey man i can't play games myself i'm not going to come watch you play games get out of here <laughs> i'm not going to play games with we're you just, I can't play my own. <laughs> yeah we're I just understand that. i get it <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up on the back end there, Tom. We got no more topics. Tommy, back. For this, this little scratchy throat. Come on, dude. 
suck it up. You better um, be ready by Monday or Saturday. We got something. Oh, you and him got here. Saturday, yeah, yeah. If you made it all the way to the end, we got a little. We're doing me and Tommy recording Saturday morning early, so we'll have something coming out. Uh, so coming out then, that'll be fun. Oh, we actually, yeah. advertise that it's live. Actually, Wait, we're doing a live. It's not oh, recording. Right, so right, yeah, right, please right, show up if you're listening to this on Friday, uh, tomorrow morning at nine a.m. Nine a.m. Eastern, Eastern, which is whatever it is UTC. So do 9 a.m. PM UTC, uh, UTC or 1400 UTC, I think. Um, there you shit, go. I'm probably fucking that up. Um, uh, but yeah, we'll be, we'll be live with, um, the, I will, we'll keep it. I think we, Tommy has something planned. We can get it. No, we can play it now because the thumbnail will be up that day. It'll be up Friday. It'll be up that day. It's goofy gophers. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's yeah. We got, we're getting the goofy gophers squad on or Brian's coming on for goofy gophers to chat it up with you two. I will be in Legoland with the kids, bam. So uh you guys will have fun and good luck with that. I'll be able to watch that later. Can you live stream from Legoland because I'd just be you fun know, to see. I like Legoland. I don't if it wasn't at nine, I'll be in the car. I want to hear about the gophers, but Legoland's also <laughs> I'll be in the car with everybody. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it is a little early, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Early stream, we haven't done those much, but either way, the video will be posted as well if you miss the live stream when by the time you're listening to this. If you're if you're listening to this while the live stream's on, rip, sorry, uh, skill issue next, you know, check it out. It's recorded so you can uh, play it back. Okay, I'm going to do a double shield, double plug. Thumbs up this video, share it, subscribe to us, and also give a thumbs up to the live stream. That's good. You're going to be watching tomorrow and share that and give us a sub if you want to chat and chat.